Another really cool new feature in version 5.0 is metadata driven archive backup option. Um, so in the past, we only backed up based off motion or we backed up based off schedule on demand and we would do the entire archive to a specific location. Um, now we've gotten a bit more granular in terms of how you can manage that backup. So when you go to storage, make sure you got backup set up somewhere. Uh, underneath backup, you're going to be able to see uh, the cameras and you're going to see a new UI here, right? Um, the UI really now allows you to select by a lot of different options when you're doing backup. So before it was always the archive or high res or low res. Um, now you can do uh, motion objects, bookmarks, motion and objects, motion and bookmarks, objects and bookmarks, or motion objects and bookmarks. Um, for this camera here, I'm going to select objects and bookmarks. I'm going to back that up. So anytime an object is detected or anytime a bookmark is created, either manually or automated through the rules engine, I'm going to back it up and I'm going to back up all streams or just a load stream here. We're going to go with all streams. Um, you can see it says I've got a queue of three days and 18 hours. Uh, that's cool. Uh, if I change it, it's going to ask me to apply. I'll do it again, back to objects and bookmarks, press apply. And now it will be backing up uh, based off of objects and bookmarks based video only. Um, so some benefits of this is obviously for long-term storage, you don't really want to keep any video where nothing is happening or objects are not detected or bookmarks are not detected or sorry, bookmarks have not been created. Um, so this sh should really reduce the amount of long-term storage you have out there. If you think about it, I mean, maybe five or 10% of the video that you're going to have is going to have objects in it and bookmarks, depending on your usage scenario. Um, but it should really greatly reduce the amount of storage you're going to need for objects and bookmarks. And there's reasoning behind that. Um, obviously we are working on cloud-based storage. Um, when cloud-based storage becomes available, the same exact, um, backup options are going to be there. So in terms of the utilization of cloud-based storage, where you're going to have a, an internet connection that may or may not be flooded, um, you want to have the option to really kind of fine tune what you're backing up, uh, and where you're backing up to. So. Metadata driven archive backup options new in version 5.0. Check it out.